in a change from poker games and football, Anko do a fighter. Well, OK, Anko are yet to do a football game, but I think they were doing plenty of poker games where um, ladies don't have many clothes on at this time. Uh, Thai boxing is a 1986 fighting game from them. And we're going to start off on the Acorn Electron, also available on the BBC Micro, ostensibly the same game. And apparently there's an analogue joystick option, so that, um, I imagine, is enormous fun. And off we go. Right, so. Yes. Yes, it's... um. It looks like there's corruption on the screen, but I assume that's part of the graphics. It's a, it's a not a, not a great fighter, is it? Over to the Commodore 64. And a more detailed title screen where you get to select your number of players and put your name in. And it's isometric. I am in the blue trousers. And I'm depicted on the top right there. And the uh, computer player is depicted on the top left looking like some kind of sinister doll. And he's wearing the red trousers. The title music plays at very, very low level during the game. It's a shame it's not louder. And there's only a small area of the screen you can actually move around in. And although it's isometric, you can't actually change direction at this stage. Oh, I've been knocked over and I've sustained damage as per the little picture on the top right. There's a stamina bar and energy bar or whatever it is and it doesn't really make much sense. It wavers up and down. You can hit the enemy but he will recover his energy very quickly. See, it went down a little bit there but not much and it will recover. Over to the Atari ST, programmed by R. Sheldon. So for some reason, you have a designer stubble in your little graphic at the top uh, of the screen. I don't know quite what's going on there. It looks like some kind of screen splitting technique has gone wrong. So I'm in the orange trousers and the computer is in the brown trousers. And it says on the screen, dread is the law. And, and despite being a Thai game, we are apparently in front of a Chinese takeaway. I am, however, I think, managing to kick the computer to death as his brown score. Your, your status bar in this version is depicted by the colour of your trousers. And just as well, the computer's trousers are brown. ST Format reviewed this on re-release. I couldn't find... I read the review last night, then went to print it out, and I lost it. And the re-release, which was on the uh, Prism uh, Pocket Power label, it either got 17% or 27%. Either way, ST Format were not impressed. Speaking of things that are not impressive, this is the Commodore Plus 4 version. Sorry for the screen interference, I still don't have my original power supply back, and therefore you're getting switch mode noise. Hoping to get that back soon. I am in the red trousers, and the screen... I'm not sure if the screen flashes when I inflict damage or if it's just flashing because it's glitching. This is even worse than the Electron version. I mean, I know it's only 16K, but goodness me. It, it reminds me of the animation in Green Beret. Uh, you may see a Plus 4 listed version, by the way, but uh, it's a kind of spoof, apparently, on Plus 4 World. Basically says the game doesn't exist. And this is this is awful. I don't I don't think it's any sound effects. I had to check if I was plugged in or not. Over to the Amstrad CPC. And you've got the music, same music as the C64 version. I am in the uh well the the stipple effect blue trousers, not the solid blue trousers. And we are in a I've died. That was quick. We are in a junkyard full of larders. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's let's try again. Uh, by the way, you might be thinking this is a specy port and a Spectrum version is on the advertising. 
missing in action. It's not on Spectrum and Computing, and I checked the other site as well. Not on there. Either wasn't released or was bought in such low numbers that uh, no copies survive. I would go with not released, given how compre comprehensive Spectrum Computing is. Now, on the Amstrad version, you can change your isometric direction, like the ST. On the C64, you have to wait for another round, and then you get to change direction. Playing area looks big, but it's astonishingly small. It's a very small box you're moving around inside this huge area. Graphics look like they've been drawn on Screen Designer by Amsoft. And the... This is hard. This is really, really hard. And you know, there's far better games available at this time than this. It feels like that. It's just another generic fighting game, except it's not any good. The, the difference being, you're being beaten to a pulp at the top of the screen with the with the damage, which I guess could be fun if you're two kids playing in the two-player mode. But against a computer that on the Amstrad is incredibly hard to beat. I mean, look, I'm not putting any damage on him. I knock him, and when I knock him down on the status bar there, it bounces straight back. I'm dead again. There is an Amiga version. Guess what? It won't load, even on my A600. I think it needs an original chipset. So sorry about that, so I won't be covering that today. Back to the C64. And I've died, and I'm having my face cleaned by the little man with the animation. computer has won that may have been sampled audio possibly but uh yeah now you see we're on to level two now and we've changed direction so you will get to play in all four directions on the c64 the trouble is you can't do it within an individual round you have to wait for a round change to experience the full isometric experience of being able to go in any direction but it's so hard. Look, I hit him there, and it didn't really sustain any damage. Round two on the Amstrad. I'm in the light trousers again. And look, I've walked out of the ring into thin air. This is lamentable. How can you... How can you let this happen? ST version. We're now in some kind of area beside a waterfall. Nice animation. I'm beating the computer. And look at his face. Just look at his face. Seriously beaten up. I really don't know what's going on with that glitching at the top. As I say, I think it's something to get. I mean, the little. I can't even begin to explain how poor this game is. It's really bad. On oh, the Amstrad CPC version, this is another one of the levels. Well, I think it's level three. I've cheated to get here. Looks huge, the playing area, but it's a small box in the middle of the screen. On to level four or five or whatever. You're in a back alley beating up people again. And again, you're in a small area with crude graphics, wishing you were playing Ye Are Kung Fu. And we're back on the C64, and I should mention the reviews from the Lemon 64 users, always reliable. There's three different reviews. Everything is great about this game. Uh, second one, it's a good fighting game. And the third one, it's a great and interesting game. Chinny Reckon, or well, in this case, Chinny Reckon not. Thai Boxing is a nasty game with a novelty of a bit of gore for the kids where you beat up your opponent in the top of the screen. The thing is, the graphics are so crude that no one worried about that stuff. If you beat someone to a pulp on your Xbox 5000, it's going to be more realistic, and there's probably a Peggy rating on the game. The C64 version pretends to be isometric, and it kind of is, except you can only change direction between rounds. You're forced to play in the direction the game wants you to. The Amstrad and SD versions are isometric, but are still lamentably rubbish. The Electron and Plus 4 versions are terrible. How can you put out this absolute 
and piffle. The mega version, from what I've seen, is just as bad, but more polished. But as I say, refuses to run on any of the Amigas I have. Uh, partly because I guess no one can be bothered to patch up a game this terrible so you can play it on an ECS or AGA Amiga. It's not a good fighting game. It's not a good and interesting game. And it, there's nothing about the game is great. This is a lamentable pile of dross with the small novelty that you can see the damage you inflict on your enemies at the top of the screen. As I said before, this game is missing an action on the spectrum. It may have been released, but may not actually exist. But if you do have a copy, you know what? Just chuck it in the nearest bin so poor old specky owners don't have to suffer the rubbish that the rest of us do.